All right, welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. The Great Lakes Loons wrapping up its regular season. So joining us this morning to give us a preview at this weekend's games, we have Brad Tooney. And it is always good to see you, Brad. How are you? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to be inside the studio. Yeah, glad to have you here. All right, so we want to get right to it. The, the Loons are finishing up their series against the Dayton Dragons. So um, tonight is Nine Night. What is that? So the nine is an initiative that the Loons are partnering with uh, Major League Baseball on. So yeah. a lot of teams in professional baseball are uh, helping to honor and kind of inform and educate folks about the historic impact of uh, black baseball players uh, in the sports history. And so in particular, pretty special for us as a Dodgers affiliate, mm -hmm. Jackie Robinson, of course, made his debut and broke the color barrier with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And so uh, the nine, most folks are unaware, is the number that he wore in his lone season in the minor league. So yeah. the number 42 is his major league number. That's been retired across uh, all professional baseball. So we honor the nine tonight. How very special. That is great. Other events happening this weekend because there's a whole slew of them. That's right. So tonight, um, not only is it the nine night, but it's in conjunction with the Dodgers Blues Day. And so for me, it's my favorite uniform in our theme kit. Okay. Uh, pays homage to a little bit of the Dodgers uniforms when they play at home. Pretty cool for us to see that 2,500 miles away from L.A. Uh, and those jerseys are being auctioned off tonight. So if fans go to uh, minor league auctions right now, they can bid on game worn jerseys, wow. which is cool uh, experience that so they get to go onto the field, get them signed by the players, uh, take them off their backs, have some uh, communication there with our guys, especially this late in the season as they're prepping for the playoffs. Good conversations to be had with our guys. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow is a, a massive day for us. Final fireworks show of the season. This is the final uh, regular season weekend at home. And so a fireworks lunacular post game uh, that comes also with one of my favorite parts of the season, a beer run. And so if uh, fans have never experienced that before, for just 30 bucks, they get admission to the game, a t-shirt, they chug a beer, run a lap, chug another beer, run another lap, and then do it a third time. That's a full mile around our concourse. And wow. uh, if they're still standing by the end of it, they get to hang out for a, a game too. Good yeah. people watching more than anything. If you oh, like was, just kind of hanging out watching folks, it's I good I was going to say, that's got to be hilarious to watch. Yes, and some are really competitive at it. We had a couple of guys uh, in recent years who uh, actually ran in beer run clubs in their colleges. Oh my and gosh. so they ran a mile faster than I'd probably run a half mile and they drank three beers right. in the midst of it. <laughs> then you sober, right? <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Same here. Um, and I know Sunday is something special too, which you guys do usually with for the kids. Yeah, so Sunday, Kids Day, our final one of the year. They'll get to run the bases post game as they do, enjoy a meal in the house. And uh, in particular, it's a, a fan appreciation day, mm. which Special for us, too, as uh, employees, because I think for fans on that day, it's an important day to be at the ballpark if they've been to, say, three, five, or ten games this year, because they'll see a ton of video board content reminiscing on the season that was, yeah. uh, reliving all of the key moments. And so there's a lot of great energy at the ballpark on Sunday. Uh, and then on Saturday, uh, looking back a little bit, a hat giveaway. And so this is really a weekend for our fans to kind of come uh, relive the moments that the season had mm -hmm. and there was a lot of big ones get some free stuff which is always good heading into the off season, and then uh, gain some excitement and some steam before the playoff game on Thursday. So tell us about the playoff time you know that after this weekend what can fans expect uh, for the first playoff game. So we'll start on the road. We're waiting to see who our opponent is. Okay. As of right now, it'd be the West Michigan Whitecaps, who are a Tigers affiliate. That always hits a little different for uh, our fans here in mid-Michigan. <laughs> and then uh, we'll return home on Thursday. We're only guaranteed one playoff game at home this year. That'll be at 7.05 Thursday night. Some more free stuff for fans. Rally towel giveaway to everyone who comes through the gates that night. Should be a great crowd. We had over 3,000 in our playoff game last year, hoping to do the same this year. Yeah. And 3,000 feels like 6,000 on those games. And so it's a, a special night to be a part of. I know the kids are already back in school, but uh, they deserve, you know, after a week or two, depending on what level they're at, of, yeah. uh, hopefully on time attendance and good behavior to get back out to one final Loons game. And if it can't be this week, and it should be next Thursday. Perfect. Great way to do it. As the season wraps up, of course, what has been so special about it? Uh, each season uh, is unique, and I, you know, I get to have the privilege of, of being on the air for all of them, yeah. watching over all of it, experiencing it with our players, our fans, our coaching staff. And you know, this year's team set a torrid pace in the first half, best half of baseball in our franchise's history. And while they've slowed down a little bit mm -hmm. in the second half, they're starting to find their stride again. And in particular, we have the Dodgers' number one prospect right now, a top 50 prospect in all of baseball, and Dalton Rushing, who's hit four home runs in the last week. He's getting hot. 
Yesterday, they broke a franchise record with their 190th stolen base of the year, and so they hit a lot of home runs. They should hit number 100 tonight. Okay. Uh, they may get to 200 stolen bases and become the first team in the Midwest League to do that uh, and the first team in our franchise's history. So when you can factor in some power, some speed, bunch of major leaguers on our uh, coaching staff and I yeah. think a ton of future big leaguers too on our uh, on our roster it's it's been a really exciting season absolutely it feels like just yesterday too I was joining you guys for yeah. opening night opening can, day uh, yeah we look back on that like it was a week ago yeah yeah well, that was months ago a lot colder although it is cold in the mornings now too again I know right yeah. funny how that works sorry Brad anything else you want to add about the loons no things have been great hoping to see folks at the ballpark this weekend uh, there are some ticket specials available if you head to loons.com Labor Day picnic and so fans can get out as a family and enjoy a meal in the pavilion yeah um, the beer run also comes with a, a special ticket offer too and so get out there check out what's available um, the hat giveaway comes with a family four pack as well and so Cut the price of four tickets, four food vouchers, and four hats down by, you know, about 30%. And so the uh, one final family weekend here over Labor Day to experience the loons before they're gone until next April. Yeah, that's right. And thanks to the fans for all the support. Yes, as always. Can't do it without them. Yeah. All right, Brad, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, yeah, of course. For more information, of course, go to the hot links section that's on our website, WNEM.com.